My name is Lenny Henry. Um, and for those outside the UK and, and who've been living under floorboard for many years, what do you do? I'm an actor, comedian, writer, uh, producer, um, and uh, recently theatre actor. Uh, I've been uh, producing, uh, first of all, with Crucial Films in the 90s, where we developed and produced television shows like Chef and The Lenny Henry Show and Never Wear. Uh, we did Funky Black Shorts for BBC Two and also uh, mm -hmm. Crucial Tales. Um, and in uh, a, a newer incarnation of production company with my with me at the helm, uh, my new production company is called Douglas Road Productions, and we aim to produce programs with a diverse point of view, both behind the camera and in front of the camera. And uh, we're two years in, and it's very exciting. And we're also diversity activists. We want to see a change behind the camera and also on screen. It's real slow work. And picking up on that last part, because obviously you've been in this architecting and all sorts of things. Where, where are we now with it? Is, is it? Are we in a good place? When I say we, I'm speaking about diverse people from diverse backgrounds to BMEs. Is it a good place to be in at the moment? I think if you're a black, Asian, minority, ethnic in Great Britain at the moment, um, we are facing turbulent times and people have to uh, saddle up for a bit of a fight because if you think the diversity thing is done because they mention it in the BBC Charter or they put three ticks on the BFI um, thing or Sky did quotas, you're sorely mistaken. The battle has only just begun for true diversity in this country and only if we're all prepared to put our head above the parapet and to say what we need and what we want um, is anything going to change. And a couple of things that you're doing that perhaps will give be as examples and also exemplars as well would be what, I think a way of uh, I think a way of insisting on diversity is to hold the institution's feet to the fire you know don't let them get away with stuff if they say they're going to do stuff then make them do it insist they do it knock on their door and say why aren't you doing it don't just let them get away with saying it and then being inert for two years. And, and certainly, if they say they're going to do a report, really, really insist on a deadline that's close to you, not 10 years away. Um, I think that it's important to keep making speeches, to keep driving on the facts that representation isn't just about the people in the canteen, the guys on the security gate. Um, True representation in, in the entertainment industry is who's getting to make the decisions. Who, as Pat Young says, are the pickers and deciders making the decisions about what gets to be on our screens. And once that changes, once the democratic of the boardroom changes, then you'll see a change, a true change on screen. But until then, we've got a battle on our hands. We're here today, thank you very much. And you heard what we, what, I say we are being pejorative here, but everyone's trying to achieve. What do you make of this idea of a kind of a collective, a, a series of photographs, exhibitions of people coming together, talented people across the UK, uh, put together in a space where others might get the opportunity to, to see uh, or what's going on be below sometimes the radar when they haven't in the past? What I think is brilliant about this is that uh, the general public, the public at large, punters, are fascinated by how things work. And what's wonderful is that there are executives. There is behind the camera talent, drawing room talent, boardroom talent. There are people behind the scenes of color, of gender, who make television programs. You just don't see them. So sometimes you look at broadcast or our industry magazines and you open a page and it says, industry leaders debate such and such. And it's a very monocultural affair. But what this exhibition proves is that you didn't invite those people to the party. <laughs> so what's great is, well, we'll have our own celebration then. And that's what I love about this, is that there is a network of people. We just don't get to hang out because we're working. We've got things to do. We've got mouths to feed. And we're trying to hold on to our job. <laughs> and I think one day, um, we're going to be in a situation where we're not scrabbling for work, you know, where we're appreciated and everybody gets a chance to, to say what they think and to, be, and, to persist, and to participate in the big people's conversation. That's what this is about.
When do we all get to participate in the big people conversation? Like Woody Allen says, it's almost like drama is the adult conversation and comedy is the kids' table. Well, can we all be at the same table, please? That's what we want.